Hello guys, uh, quick video today over um, PlayStation 2 Slim again, um, covering some missing bits. I have uh, two models here again, the one that requires AC mains 220 coming in, uh, but also the other, um, actually the one we have fixed the other day, adjusting the voltage on the laser, the one that requires an external power supply. Um, it's absolutely the same thing, I just wanted to present both um, cases here uh, and I have to thank uh, everybody, every uh, follower uh, thank you guys for the comments especially Trini Metroid uh, for getting in trouble um, with his own uh, adjustment so he gave me the idea uh, to come up with this video it's gonna be, as I said, a short one what we're gonna see is the ribbon cable and how the ribbon cable from the laser can damage the discs um, because you know the, the, the disc is spinning um, over the, the laser head right here and this ribbon cable should be lower of course than the head, the laser head itself. If this ribbon um, which actually this is what is happening here the curve is uh, above the height of the, 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 the mechanism uh, uh, or uh, around the same height uh, can damage the disc because you know uh, how the discs are spinning uh, very fast in the, uh, over this area and um, if the ribbon uh, gets in touch with the disc, the underside of the disc can damage our discs and um, yeah, it's kind of uh, dangerous, you have to um, take a closer look and see um, that the ribbon cable is below the height of this area that the disc will be placed into the machine, below the height of this black all area that the disc will be spinning. Um, in this second case I think we're good because it's lower than the head. And here is my damaged disc because it happened uh, to me as well. So you can see the scratch, perfect uh, circle around the, um, the game DVD uh, as it was touching the ribbon while it shouldn't and it spins um, uh, very fast so you can see the damaged disc here um, as it was uh, rotating spinning and at the same time touching the uh, the ribbon that's the damage so there goes my uh, Pro Evolution Soccer 6 of course this disc is still playable but um, again the ribbon shouldn't touch at any point the surface uh, the underside of the discs um, because this is what happens so um, in order to check <coughs> uh, if the ribbon height um, is um, correct uh, you should push the, the lens down uh, close as close as it gets to the motor like we did here so, and um, if I place the disc, or you can imagine, um, up there uh, where the scratch is, it was touching the, um, well, the other way around. The ribbon was touching the disc um, while playing, and there goes my disc, there goes the scratch, and um, we have to be cautious with this. That's, that's, that's true. And thanks again, uh, Trini Metroid, for bringing this up. Um, I have tried to use um, double-sided tape to keep the ribbon in place uh, and lower uh, than this level so it doesn't touch the, uh, the disc but I found out the double-sided tape is uh, hard to be removed if we need to remove it in the future so I will reopen uh, this, uh, this model here um, all the taps, the plastic taps, must be removed with a little screwdriver and only a couple of uh, rubber legs at the front 
won't have any screws underneath. All the other tabs must be removed and you must remove the screws underneath that. I mean underneath the tabs. So only those legs, one here, one here, uh, at the front of the machine can stay because there are no screws um, underneath the, those leg, uh, rubber legs. So one other little uh, tip is don't rush to uh, move or to um, pull off the bottom part from the upper part. It's the other way around. It should be. So uh, flip it over. Um, I would say open uh, the, the, the disc door and try to detach it. Detach the upper part from the bottom part instead. So uh, right now we have it open. Uh, we have to calculate the distance the ribbon is covering while playing a game. So this means we have to bring um, the whole laser mechanism uh, uh, carefully uh, as it is right there at the top down close as close as uh, it gets to the motor. And then you can understand that this point is that far that it goes and um, while playing a game this goes up and down all the time reading data so we have to bring it all the way down and then we can tell that this part the upper part of the ribbon this curve is always moving so we don't want to glue this part we just need to have it um, to keep it in a, some low profile lower than the um, CD compartment it, um, uh, so the, the, the um, disc is spinning freely uh, and we now precisely now where we have to uh, or we can put some uh, sticky tape, electric tape, uh, cellophane tape in this case like um, it, uh, the one I have here just uh, just uh, make sure that uh, it will fit in between the moving uh, part of uh, the ribbon and the, the the part that is not moving so it will keep it um, it will give this uh, low profile to the ribbon as a whole so I'm gonna place one part on this side I'm trying to put it underneath there and the other part on the other side and keep it low that's that's the goal that's the purpose and remember this is not a quick and dirty solution uh, as you can see now, uh, the cellophane tape is in place holding the uh, uh, the part that is not moving all the way down and up to the right point so it doesn't bother uh, the moving part. And in order to do that, uh, the again, the head must be all the way down up to uh, the motor. And now we know that uh, the way it should travel up and down. Reading the disc is okay. Uh, it doesn't bother the rest of the moving part, the, the curvy part, if you will, of the ribbon. We have only um, uh, got up to the point uh, where the ribbon um, is not going to be moving at all. And we keep it down. That's, that's what we should do. So remember, this is not a quick and dirty solution. The, the sticky uh, tape uh, has already been there from the factory but whenever we do something well, like a mod or a repair we need to change the laser or we want to adjust the voltage or whatever we do we simply might forget to put it back that's what it is and then <coughs> it gets uh, all the way up touching the uh, CDs the DVDs the, 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 the discs and uh, makes this uh, damage, this, this scratch underneath. So now you can see the height is right. Um, the profile is far below the CD compartment so it won't be touching the uh, underside of the DVD at all times. Uh, so all the way up, all the way down as it will be traveling, reading data won't be touching the disc. That's a, that's what we have achieved uh, with just this little trick with a tape. And this trick can be applied um, on every model, uh, either the one with uh, 220 
uh, 7000 series or whatever model uh, you might have uh, so uh, I hope this helps um, I guess um, we can call it a wrap and we'll, we should have uh, no other problems or uh, further scratches and damages uh, on our uh, valuable discs and uh, games um, I'm just playing the first part of the video here just to tell you that I have to thank you uh, for all the comments please do subscribe if you haven't done that so far um, I'll be back with uh, another video another um, game console uh, old computers retro stuff um, and gaming uh, devices uh, from all the um, uh, past years up to now uh, I'm, I'm doing my best to find some spare time to uh, create more vi videos uh, with hints and tips and uh, repairs uh, whatever so again the critical part is to uh, hold the profile uh, of the, the actually the whole thing the ribbon uh, low lower than the uh, disk compartment so it won't create any scratches on your disks uh, that's what we did. Um, happy with the result. Um, just comment, just uh, ping me um, for um, any other information or questions you might have. Um, I'll be more than happy to help at all times. You know that. Uh, just um, I just love PS2. I, I believe it's one of my favorite consoles. Actually, it is my favorite console. Uh, because it's reliable, robust, and um, it doesn't get um, overheated uh, like the, the the new machines uh, you can find around. Um, it's, it is uh, not expensive. You can actually have a PS2 uh, chip uh, as chips, and um, yeah, I love it. So keep up the good work. Um, I'll be catching you soon with another video, I believe. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, bye.